Right folks, I'm just going to do a very small video here because I really want to save the video for when I get out onto the area of Outstanding Beauty. This has all been recorded by me in, in different seasons of course. A couple times this year already and I will be out here again just doing row barrel walk. I won't be going out to the area of Outstanding Beauty in the winter because the bus service is too bad. I would do normally but because of the poor service on the buses um, and I can't get to cheddar anymore or anything. It's really restricted my my mobility, if you like, to get out here. So I'm doing this walk today and I'm doing the air of that sun and beauty. It could end up a tight squeeze for time, I don't know. But uh, I'm supposed to be following the lower path, which I hope isn't going to be a quagmire as such. Then coming across, once I've got up to the trig point, I'll be coming across and entering Robur Warren. And then getting heading to the village of Shipham and then down through to Winscombe to get the bus. That's the plan. So I'm just, this is a token little video as I enter and skirt Dalbury Warren and the various paths that I've taken before that take you up into the wood there. Um, if not, this is the base of the fort, the hill fort. Um, like I said, I've been up the hill fort a couple times this year already. So today it's just a case of passing it because I've got a to go across the area of Outstanding Beauty where we once again get views of Barrington Coombe. I did also go to Barrington this year but I didn't go across to the trick point. So basically that's the plan today to go across to the trick point and then work my way back and that will be my visit this year to that area. I had to, I've got to fit it in now. All the bus times are changing. There's less buses when the autumn comes and the schools go back. They seem to cut services. Um, so basically, I have got some alternative places I can do using Bristol buses. I was going to think about doing it this year, but I've left it for now. Um, so I might do something in the winter, if it's not too bad, the weather. And um, over at Congressbury there's a wood. And you can apparently walk through it to, to Rington, where in theory I could pick a bus up to come back. Plus there's uh, the church there, there's shops, cafes and pub. pubs. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing a little token video of today's walk, over and out for now. the second stage of the walk, I'm just saying hello to these beautiful calves. There's their big mama over there, look. Oh, there's a really tiny one coming. Hello. Hello, babies. That's a very tiny baby, the one you can't quite see, it's behind that, that one. Oh, here he comes. Look at that. Look at you. My goodness, aren't you pretty? Hello. Hello, little cow. Oh, you're gorgeous, darling. Your mother will be over here in a minute if you talk to me. Yeah. Moo. Yeah. Big brother's come to say, watch out for them. There's another one. Oh, what a precious little thing you are, darling. Let me just turn off and take... Right, that's them, they're eating the holly bushes. Lovely cows they are, look really healthy, well fed. Right, so I've met, I've come to my junction point. Seemed to go on forever, that skirting of Dalbury Warren. That's where I've just come up from. 
if you go up past the stone there a little bit, you turn off and you go up to the hill fort. Or you can carry on round and pick up a path I discovered earlier this year when I was up here. Some new paths I found, but it took me through undergrowth where I caught ticks, so beware. And now here we've got more. That's another route you can go if you want to go get pick up a path and go up skirting Robert Warren. Now today I'm going up here. I'm not going to video for long because I'm trying to conserve the battery, although I've got the charger. Um, basically we go uphill, so we've left the, the junction back there. And I've been doing these walks for quite a few years now. Both, so both ways, sometimes coming down, so we've still got a bit of hill to go. And then after this old ancient track that this is, we will come to a gate. And then you can either keep dead left on a track after the gate, that'll take you down to Burrington, the village. Or you can bear slightly right and go over onto the plain, pass in the parade, what I call the parade. It's like a large processional route, really. I cross over that and I pick up a small tracks like this and go across east and no west and east springs. That's um some brooks that we pass, which were nearly empty earlier in the year when I came in June during the heat wave. There's somebody coming, I'll just turn off a minute. Oh, lots of people. Right, folks, we're at the triangle. We're heading over towards that little group of trees. This is how I know. Now, if you want to go down to Burrington, the village, Keep on this track going here. Keep keep going that way. Oh, you can go this way, but you still have to turn off. But that'll take you straight there. Now, there's the area of outstanding beauty all ahead of us. I am hoping this blue sky will appear for a little bit of this walk. Um, I just thought I'll mention... I've a chunk of me molar break off the other day, which just got got a cap on it. So I have got a bit of a hole with the cap still partially attached, which I've had for like 40 odd years, that cap. But the tooth underneath is starting to show its age, if you know what I mean. But at the moment, It's difficult eating because stuff goes in the hole, but uh, I'm going to have to keep rinsing out. At the moment, no issues. I thought I'll, I'll come out today. I probably won't be able to see a dentist anyway. I mean, my next appointment is March, uh, which was um, from June. I couldn't. The next appointment was from June to March next year. And if you get an emergency, you could still have to wait three months. Yeah, it's awful. Right, wait a minute, let's just see if there's a easier way here to get across. Rather than that big puddle there. Yeah, there we go. It just takes... It pays to um, look round. I mean, in the past I've walked all through these ferns, got stuck in the bog and everything. It's all a learning curve. I, don't, I know now not to do it. <laughs> but in those early days... I used to wander off all over the place. And this is, a, this is a nice little junction point where a lot of people know this place as a junction point, a picnic area. Someone else come in now with two dogs. Um, right, I've got a feeling, I keep meeting runners around about my age. I've got a feeling there's some sort of competition going on. I just heard someone with their speaker on saying, you've got to go there, you've got to look for the, something to do with pollution or something. So 
so there must be things where it looks to me it looks like that that there's some sort of not race but some sort of challenge going on with people my age group or, or maybe slightly younger even so there's a the little plantation bit a little junction point there's our beautiful air of outstanding beauty everyone we might see ponies and cattle yet great big beef cattle they are as well I've never had any problems with them not so far now in the distance there from here if I zoom in you'll be able to see the geology of Burrington Coombe. Now I videoed all this not long ago and I climbed up through the Coombe um, in June. So we'll be heading that way right across the area of outstanding beauty on the lower track and then we're coming back along the top and going back into the wood. That's plan A. I have to keep turning the video off. There's, I, there's definitely something on because there's groups of people that look like they're on a mission. Um, someone else coming now, so I have to join. I have to remember to join these small bits together. Just beyond these trees here, there'll be what I call the parade. It's a clearing. It looks like rabbits have been chewing it. You can, if I zoom in there, you'll see like a mowed area. It's not mowed, but it's a, that is the processional route which comes right down from the top to right down to you join the little track to Burrington. There we go, there's our little junction point, lovely little picnic area. And when it's very, very hot, it offers shade. Be wary just walking through ferns, by the way. There are bogs here, sinkholes, potholes. Do be careful. I nearly got trapped in a bog myself once and a big hole appeared. So, uh, yeah, I've got that on video somewhere in the early days. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I feel so, touch wood, I feel so much better than I did. Um... I really struggled for the last month. I put it down to either a virus I picked up or uh, the ticks. I got attacked by ticks. All right, I'll just take some pictures from here, everyone. It's gorgeous here, isn't it? Over and out. <laughs> 